Good morning guys. How you doing? Sean here. I'm going to give you a couple of things that you can do to show gratitude in your everyday life, whether it be to a mother, a father, brother, sister, significant other. So without further ado, let's go. So I woke up a little later than I wanted to. So I did a, just a quick at home workout. As you guys know, if you saw my previous video, I do do like a cardio slash abs workout. Um, so I just did that at home today. Um, so I'm just gonna get some breakfast in. And today's Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. You'll probably see this after, but I wanted to wish you guys happy Mother's Day. Either way, I think that Lily and I and her parents are gonna go to, um, I don't know if she can hear me or not, are gonna go to a special spot. I keep it to the bathroom because I don't know if she can hear me. So, and I think it's a surprise where we're going. So Lily and I are taking her parents to a winery today down in Newport, Rhode Island, uh, one of my favorite places of all time. Um, so we're gonna go there today, check it out, see what it's all about, do some wine tasting, have some food, and see where the day takes us. So I guess my first tip is, and it just came to my mind because I was in the kitchen, do things for other people without them asking you to, and not with the expectation of getting something in return. What I mean by this, is if you see the dishes are dirty and you know your mom normally does the dishes, do the dishes, wash them, dry them, load them in the dishwasher, whatever whatever it is for you, and just do that for them and they'll be so appreciative. They'll probably give you something in return anyway, if not a thank you and an appreciation. It'll make them feel so much more appreciated for all they do for you. So that's my first tip. Do something nice for them without the expectation of getting something in return. Now it's time for me to have some gainer oats. What I put in that is oats, protein powder, a little bit of cinnamon, and whatever else I can conjure up. Sometimes some fruit. What I'm gonna do is put some craisins in there and the special, special ingredient is the instant coffee, son. What you know about that? All right, so got the black jacket on, white tea, joggers, Knock off Adidas. I got them at Target for $35. They're honestly the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn in my entire life. More comfortable than the Adidas. We're off to the winery. Let's do this. Yep, vlogception. We have vlog family. <laughs> Vlog with the vlog. Yep. So we're in Newport, Rhode Island right now. We're at Newport Vineyards, I'm about to take a winery tour. And I just wanted to give you my second tip. And it may seem like an obvious one, but it's really not done enough. And it's simply just to tell the person that you're grateful for them or that you appreciate them. I often do this sometimes at work. Any hey. interruption? <laughs> I do this a lot at work with my teammates. I simply just go up to them and say, hey, thank you so much for all you do. I really appreciate it. And it goes miles. People will do more for you and more in general when they feel appreciated. So just simply tell them, say thank you. Our So we get to choose five wines. I'm going with the Chardonnay in the buff. It's an unhoped Chard Vibrant Quince. I have no idea what that means, but hopefully it's good. The Bellevue Blush, oh, yeah, go Gemini ahead. Red. We're going right? to get Merlot for free What's because right? it's the wine of the month yeah, yeah, and then yeah. Rochambeau. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Moving on to the Rosé. Best one so far. What do you think, Pat? So fast, Hydration is key. And don't spill it, Sean. Right now, get some drinks. 
drink for some food. Never been there before, so I don't know how it's gonna be, but my thought is me jumping out of the car, walking down, putting it in the reservation, or at least getting the table while they try to find parking might be the best way to go about it. I just put the reservation in. I wanted to give you my last tip, which is to talk good about others behind their backs. That talk, that good that you speak about them will eventually make its way back to that person. I hope that makes sense. But when you do this, when people know that you're talking good about them behind their back, they'll feel more appreciated. They'll do more things for you. You'll be more liked. So make sure you're always talking good about someone behind their back. But I'm hungry. It's time to eat. Let's go. Take this off and then start the car. Vegan gains, bruh. Okay. Just leaving Diego's. Wait, imagine if I fell. I would rate it a 10 out of 10. What would you guys rate it? An 11 out of 10. Oh, that's pretty bold. Yeah. I mean, I thought 10 out of 10 was pretty bold, but I don't know. Wait. Mother, on Mother's Day, what would you rate it? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. Okay. Wella, what would you rate Diego's out of 10? Um, I would say 9. Nine out of ten. Okay. Uh, this is not her cooking. Yeah, that's so right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys. It was delicious. You're welcome. You are great. Yes, lattes. Great spot. Coffee grinder. I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully, all the tips that I gave you right here help out. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and I will catch you in the next one.